What's up guys, it's Flash, and we'll rack with the Kidderminster Ho save on FM2014. Now in the last part we went through a fair, well we only went through the first five days of January. Going through two games, one, one loss to Hereford, 3-1, and we won against Dartford, who were right next to us in the table, 1-0. So, starting off pretty shaky, but we need to... Um, push on. We're also in January, so I am making some transfers, so that is all well and good. I'm actually going to change this. I'm actually going to get rid of Jeremy Guys for nothing. Usually I don't like doing that, I especially um, with players with somewhat potential. They He has a potential to be in this league, but no. <laughs> no, he's not on my list, per se. But anyway, yeah, we do have a bit of injuries. Which wow, n wow, no one wants him for nothing. Wow, wow. I'm just gonna set to an answer. Let's just sell any price for. for <laughs> just do it. <laughs> Just hand it to my director of football. Because we need... In terms of substitutes, though, we are losing substitutes. We're... It, it may not be a great idea to lose them now. Because we're only down to three team substitutes. The rest of them are either injured or suspended. So... Depend... Have a look at these guys. We got Ryan Rowe returning at the end of January, so at least I'll have a backup advance forward. Um, uh, is he already on the? Yeah, he's already on the. If I wanted this, Jesus freaking Christ! Um, contra. I don't want him. Jeez. Add to unwanted list. Settle release. Frick. And the same goes for how she puzzles. Because neither of them are actually good enough. I could easily get myself a decent, a better player. Set up at least. It's January. It's been a while. So, yeah. Get rid of him now. Oh, 19. Set up at least. Rich Derby is also 19. Be added to the unwanted list at release. Okay. So, no one offers a deal for Jamie Grimes viable. Well, then again, he's that. <laughs> Not great, isn't it? <laughs> Not great. Um. Yeah, we have had a few offers come in in the last episode. Well, the last part for some of our players, and I would really like to keep them in. Um, having a look, Conor O'Doyle. No. They want him on for longer. No. Um, no, we don't. We want to keep, we want to bring him back to the club now. We want to. We want to bring him back to the club, so he can fulfill the S1 spot. Ooh. Two more scouting reports have come in. One for our advanced forward. Yeah, he does have a bit of potential. But he's best known as a fast forward, but oh wow, he wants quite a bit. He wants quite a bit for his services. Uh, but we have him. He's an advanced forward. You can also serve as a fa uh, false nine. Let's have a look see him actually wants. Wow, he only wants less. And he could potentially be a decent sky by League 2. Not really great. He's not great. Ryan Rose just a little bit better. And his potential is not really that much better than him. So, yeah. None of those are particularly great. None of those are, are great as things. But anyway, I'm going to skip ahead to the old threatened game now. Because we are focusing more on games rather than signings in this video. So, I'll see you guys then for that game. So, here we are at the old threatened game. During cuts, I have actually signed a new player. Who was featured in last part, which is our defence back, well, defence fullback, Kieran Cole. 
Um, like I said in the previous part, he's got decent acceleration and pace, always good for a left back. And he's also got decent crossing stat as well. And he's also got decent defensive stats. The only thing that's really letting him down is he needs to be a bit more... He could be... Well, left backs can always be a bit more defensive. And he could always be a bit more uptight in the aerials as well. So we're going to be working on that. Which I'm actually going to do right now. Improve his strength. Should be taking corners. Hmm. We have better corner takers for that. Improve his strength. I don't think really need the. Um, yeah, his strength's pretty weak. He is a pretty weak player, but we're, but his um, focus should be on his form, not on anything else. We'll let the strength natural since he's already 22. His physical strength, well, his physical attributes won't really go up as much as his technical or mental ones. His mental ones will go up with age. His technical rules will go up as he trains as a footballer, and his physical ones are already there for the first few years of his footballing career as a youth. So, in terms of everything else, not really as great. So, we're going to be playing... We need to put someone on, and we don't have someone on, so... Mm. Why not? He's going, but why not? Put on Jamie Tolly, why not? One number will be given to one player in the squad, uh, which of course is Cole himself. We're going to give him the number 22 because he's a youth, and that's how I do it. And he's, I've only just signed him, so there's no point putting him in a large, in the quite a low number kit. He, uh, the reason why I signed him was just in case Mickey decides to leave at the end of the season. Since when, since the um, the assistant manager has come to me with a. Uh, Oh, these players' contracts are expiring, which is basically all my first team. Um, all of them wanted better contracts, and that's not what I'm looking for. They all wanted, like, twice the amount of pay, which is, in my book, what the hell. I know that you want better football, but seriously... We're, we're looking better than ever. Like, a couple of seasons ago, we were constantly getting sixth. I mean, constantly missed out on playoffs, and we got it last season, but we just went off, went out because of our tactical arrangements. Mm, show me what you can do. We're going to be giving the you have faith to it, because why the frick not? Why not? You, a lot more to come for you. Give me, show me what you've got. And yes, yeah, we have, we do have a bit of fitness problems around, but it's not exactly. Worrisome. They are coming. They are coming back after a bit of congestion, but it, apart from that, it, things have been pretty solid in terms of um, getting ourselves fit. It was just that only that one game against Darfur where we had where we were worried for Levon's fitness, but we managed to hold out the result that we wanted. We got Jackman with the throw in. The only thing that's a bit concerning is because Vaughan's out for two games. So Mickey's playing his right back. Oh, Clayton's going to get a goal here. Oh, good save there by Lewis. Good save. So we've got Law with the corner. Headed out by Fowler. So good defending. This is going to be quite a troublesome game since Alfred and I are quite a decent side. One of the only, ti one of the only times that actually Kitty lost both games. We actually lost both games in the season against them. Johnson back to Forbes, back to Mickey. Mickey to Gowling, to, to Fowler, to Forbes. Forbes tries to find Gash, and yeah, he was kind of offside at the time, I think. And that's, uh, their, th their right back kept him on. They try to find Akinday. Oh, he's been left for dead there, and, and nice little flick on play though by Akinday. I don't know why, Dunk, he didn't challenge him. He kind of left him open for the ball there, and that's what cost me that goal. Hoping to look to break immediately here. Got Johnson. Yeah, he gets the miss off. It's back to Mickey. Crosses it in, but it doesn't go anywhere. Got Clayton. Jackman cross, uh, cuts out the pass. Fowler. And it's a free kick to Kitty. So we could potentially see a goal here. Got Jackman with the free kick. And it goes in. And Danny Jackman scores from the free kick. Very good goal there. Get the peg back. There is something I want to check though, before I move on. 
before I move on from this goal. I need to check to see if everybody's playing in the right roles. And they're not. Fowler's playing as an advanced player back. Yeah, yeah, just change these things. I need to look at these. I mean, seriously. It's getting a bit troublesome. Uh, central defender. Because actually that worked. Uh, Jam is best playing at that. And so is Mickey. So yeah, we're pro with, apart from that, that was all fine. So nice little peg back there. We are back in the game. 1-1. One, one. So it looks like Alfredson will probably look to get back in this game fairly quickly. We got Jackman with the throw in, and it's back to him as he runs along the wing. Got Fowler, gives a near post cross to Gittings. Oh, it's hit the post, and Johnson's there to peg in the tap in, and it not count for offside. So that was good, deep, good effort there by Forbes. It hit the post, and Johnson was just there just to nip it, and that's exactly what we were looking for. So we're currently up 2-1. Very entertaining first half. Yes, yes indeed. Yes indeed. Um, still room for improvement. Yes. They all seem pretty happy with that. Given the safe talk. Yes. Uh, looking at the teams, uh, we can't sub off the wingers, unfortunately. So that's how it's looking. Wow, <laughs> Nazala and Blissett really wanted to play this game. <laughs> No, our, our kickoff, we, we will be playing them at some point. So, yes, we are we we are leading now, so we do need to go a bit defensive. We have been look we have well we haven't really been dominating the game, but we have been there. A uh, good cut out by Dunkley, but it's full straight back to Alfred and, and Lewis comes out to collect that loose ball. It's kicked out. Let's see if Marlon can get his head on that. Good. And Gittins keeps it in play. Gittins tries to find Marlon. Gets cut out, though. It's kicked back out, though. Forbes manages to get that back. Fowler on the ball. Finds Marlon. But is that onside? It is. And Marlon scored a goal with his typical place finish. During this month, he has actually finished his um, training to place his shot. So hopefully now he will be better for that. And Fowler's injured. Lovely. Bring on Jack Byrne. Uh, better as an advanced playmaker. We have had another offer from Plymouth Forum, which was uh, like 9k, but he's worth 15. So, yeah. Not really playing with that. I'm not really playing ball. Give a team talk to um, Jack Byrne. There you go. Looked happy. Very nice. So, it fell as not injured, because I don't really want to be... Searching through the loan market. Uh, good kick there. A uh, good header by Dunkley there. Looks like he's learned from that mistake. We've got Johnson on the ring. We've got Johnson on the wing. Uh, it goes all the way back to Atkins. Atkins clears it out. Gowling with the header. Wishart. Need to get need to get a hold of the ball. Marlon with the cut out there. Very nice play. Marlon to burn to Forbes. Forbes tries to find Gash. Is Gash on the ball and Johnson manages to pick up the spoils, but does he isn't quite there and it gets cleared out. And Dunkley's there to pick it up. Very good. Very good play. 3-1. And we're looking to make a sub here. Might double sub it. Just so I try and keep control of the game for the rest of it. I'm gonna rest up Gash because we need to. And bring on the big man Blissett. Um in terms of, whoa, we are playing the game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, we actually played the rest of the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, the game's carried on, even though I did press the stop button. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> so we only made one sub that game. Yeah, great, great job for fitness. Great job for fitness. Yeah, so, so that win that win takes us four points clear in third place. We are nine points behind Barnet, and who, which we are now tied on for games, which we are one game in hand from Lincoln. So all that is good. Lincoln lost to Luton, and which has increased our lead. Uh, Dartford dropped points. Uh, having a look at the other teams. 
no one else played. So Barnet lost older shot, so that's a bit of a shock. Uh, so they're not taking their games seriously. So Forest Green might try and win away with it. So yeah. So at the moment we are we have cemented ourselves into third place. Which is very good. So now we need to start winning our games, running away with it. So that things do not turn sour. But anyway, so Fowler isn't injured, which he isn't, thank God. We don't need to be um, looking in the transfer window for midfield players. Because, um, yeah, Cal Store is currently not happy. He's not happy right now. Um, he, he declared it unfair, but I, favorite personnel is me. <laughs> he likes me. So our next game is in two days away against Salisbury. So I'll see you guys there for that game. Right, so here we are with the Salisbury game. During the time between things, we have made a signing known as Draw Alambulu. He is our backup target man. Let's get it, our newest backup target man. Got, got very good aerial ability, very good acceleration. So you can get to those balls. Also got some decent finishing. He's also got very nice potential too. I'm not l learning him off already. No, he can stay. I'm going to look at the information. Probably target man will be best, yes. Target man. So, okay, so moving on to the team selection for the Salisbury game. we got to get him from the other 21s. There we go. There he is. Uh, Joe Lolly's going to be returning soon, which will be nice. Um, also, Vaughn will be coming out of suspension, which is also good. In terms of everything else, though, we are somewhat thin, so to speak. So, what we need to do is we're actually going to give Kevin Cole his first game. And we'll be pushing Chapman into the midfield. Yeah. So we've given him his first game. Complete wing back. So those two are very nice. As for normal changes, I don't think we're going to be needing any. Actually, yes we do. Yes we do. We're going to be putting on Azala for Gal. For Galing. We need to rest up someone. Then we're going to be giving our number to our Balu, which is going to be number 24. Now I've been looking at signings as of late, and a lot and a lot of people I've been looking at only want to get be on a contract for the rest of the season. They don't really want to be um here for too long, which is never really a good thing. No, I don't want to be closing. It's not. It's not really a great thing because all they want is just to just come here. Show off to the better clubs that they are good, and then move on. So, yeah, it's not really something I'd like to see. Pick up where you left off. And then we're going to give the UFA tour to everybody! Because, yeah, we're going to expect Cole to be a bit nervous out there today. Mainly because it is his first debut and he is playing at home. So hopefully he doesn't make too many mistakes on the pitch today. We're only putting him on the pitch because he needs to, um, well it's not game time really, it's just for fitness for um, 
Jackman really because he needs well f well for Fowler and the only one who can actually do a decent job in his place without having to use Burn is Jackman and so someone needs to cover that left back spot it looks like Salisbury are going to get their first corner cleared though by Forbes so very nice very good defending Cole with a throw in, finds Gittings, very nice throw in, but nothing really doing there. Got right, he's quite clear though, very nice close down there by Dimitri. Going all the way to Gash. Got Jackman on the ball, finds Gittings. Got Cole running out on the wing. And never mind, Gash is just going to score anyway. From the assist from Malwan, very good goal there. So we need to be switching to defence. So it looks like Salisbury get a free kick. Gets headed out. Malbon's on. Malbon looks like he can break here. Gittings looks like he's very open, but he's been quickly been marked now. Look, Forbes finds Jackman. Jackman finds Johnson to Malbon, and Malbon gets tackled in the box. Uh, and Mickey picks up the ball. So uh, seem to be somewhat in control. Got Johnson out on the wing. He's got Gash, Gash, and Johnson picks up the ball and scores. But he won't stand. Yep, off, offside, damn. So how many disallowed goals this season? It's not that it cost us, it's just annoying. Freya. And closely marked, and it's been head. Clits. Oh, and Sinclair scores. Oh, poor clearance led to it. Hit from just outside the box. Such a, it's such a poor goal to concede. Just a bad clearance followed by just smacking it home. Oh, Marbon Gittings and Gittings scores. Very good peg back. Very nice peg back. Hit back immediately, and that's what the re kind of reaction we needed to get. It's just a shame that we can't um, keep clean sheets most of the time. The only time we keep clean sheets is when we literally are have ten men or something. <laughs> Got Johnson, and he scores. He turns around two defenders. Ooh, nice goal! Nice goal there by Marvin Johnson. That could be a goal of the month opportunity, which would be pretty nice to get actually for him. Uh, it looks like Forbes is getting a little bit tired. Marvin's got two assists so far this game. Uh, it wasn't the first half we've ever seen. Yeah, some people just look to switch off because they're doing pretty well. There we go. <laughs> That's exactly what we needed. We need to bring Burn on now because Forbes is tired. And he's looking complacent too. So we need to bring him on now. Playing as Chapman as the ball winning midfielder because he's because of his left back role. Uh, for advanced playmaker, why not? Uh, as for that inside forward, we're, swi we're switching Johnson now to the um, inside forward role. And that will do it. Nazala's on a yellow card. It's not like something we can deal with. So, continuing to play in defence. To play defensive. We seem to be controlling the game in terms of shots. We've got Lewis with the free kick. Johnson pretty much on mark. Well, pretty much out head there. We've got Mickey picking up the spoils. Tries to get to Marlborough, but it doesn't work. And looks like Lewis will come and pick that up. I'm find Gittings this time. Nice header. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is one of those moments where the goalkeeper could potentially mech up there, and that could have gifted us a goal. And uh, looks like Wright's going to score from a bit of a defensive mix up there. Ouch. Yeah, caught napping indeed. Uh, I think. Um, there's all that came out too far there and kind of left it open. 
And Dunkley doesn't have, quite have the speed to keep up with him. We've got Dutton to Sinclair. We don't really want to throw this away now, Kitty. Come on. And it's McPhee. Hits the bar. Can it get cleared out? And Lewis picks up the ball. Nice. Yeah, we need to make another sub. Uh, Gowling is somewhat abysmal. Okay. <laughs> Not sure why. But, hmm. Um, in terms of substitutions, we don't really have a lot to use, really. We can't substitute any of the wingers. The only, the only substitutions we can do is for the um, strikers. Um, is that, um, no, sub off Dunkley, actually. It's a risky move. It's a very risky move. However, I think we can do it. Let's give him um, Mbalo his debut. Keep Gash fit. See what he can do on the pitch. Just need a bit of um, oomph in the back now. Got Gittins with the corner. Nazala with the header and he scores! Yeah, pretty much silent. Yeah, pretty much what the game says. Pretty much shut them up. Very nice header there. Seems to be scoring a lot of goals from corners from him. So he seems to be quite good at it. <laughs> well, no crap, but you know. Let's kick Why Can Marvin get there in time? Yes, he does. And Gittings is on the wing. Uh, gets uh, blocked there. Play back out to Jackman. And we've got Byrne. And uh, Marvin can't get it on target there, but... At least we are still leading by two goals. Still got that, still got that important two-goal lead. We've got Sinclair with the corner. Uh, cleared out. I fear. And it's back to Sinclair again. We've got Wellard on the wing. Got, and it's been tackled and it's gone out to Gittings to Malbon. Malbon looks for Mbalu. Mbalu to Jackman to Gittings. To Marlborough, to Gittings, it's back out to Cole on the right, on the left-hand side, and it's Umbala with the header, and he scores on his debut! Very nice link-up there by our two new signings. Very nice link-up. Proven to be a decent signing already, just comes on and scores. Got Cole with the throw-in, there's the burn. Burn to Cole. This is just a normal highlight, not a full-time highlight. Oh, almost going for a second there. We've got Gittings. Back out to Burn. Burn to Jackman. They seem to be really closing it down there, trying to do some damage control. And Dimitri on the ball. Goes for the long-range effort. And then Barlow scores again. <laughs> Seems to be like an epic signing I made. <laughs> Very, another link-up play from full-back to um, head. And it's 6-2. And that's it. Very, very great half there. Just a repeat there. Another 3 1 half. Very nice victory. Well done. Malbon with the man of the match. With the man of the match of award. With two assists. We've got Ambalo just right behind him. Also, Gittings is there as well. Now, a lot of people could have got it. A lot of people proving their worth to the team there. Nice little thrashing. It's always good to get the um, confidence going. And it looks like we've overtaken Barnet now as the top scoring team. Very nice statistic. We're on 52 points, 6 points behind Barnet, but they have got a game in hand. So, yep, trying to close down as much. And yeah, Barnet had a FA Trophy game. So they're still in the FA Trophy. Forest Green are also in the FA Trophy as well. Uh, Connor O'Donnell looked to make a real difference. He is still somewhat improving. Very good to see. Managed to support Boost Melbourne. Yes, that's exactly what we're looking for. Dominant win and professional debut and then instant impact. So, very nice. And um, move there and... Our newest striker has made an instant impact onto the squad, which is very pleasing to see. And I don't think he's even match fit either. No. So I'll be happy to see when he is when he is match fit. 
Then again, I have given him the um, the part of the contract where he needs to get a seasonal landmark goal of 15, and he gets 1,000 pound. So yeah, I've given him a challenge, which is exactly what we're looking for, really. And we have got ourselves a new signing, as I mentioned in the previous part. We were going to sign, if things didn't go our way, we were going to sign Nano Tsumasi. And we have got him on for two years, on a two-year contract. Quite a nice wing-back and left-back there. Could become decent le League 1 left-back and right-back. I think it's just like a small, short-term um, investment when I'm doing that. What I did, what, uh, did that. what seems to be there. Because if them, um, if he, if he doesn't do well, we'll just um, and if he doesn't get games, we'll just get rid of him. And since I got on for two years, I got more likely to um, keep him. Well, get money for him. Hmm. They make a Vaughn bid. They seem to be always wanting to get him for nothing, and it's not exactly what I'm looking for. If they give me a an offer where his money's already there, I'll try and negotiate. Because they're two leagues up, so I'm not exactly going to be playing him anytime soon. So, no. Not good enough. Uh, attacking movement, yeah, sure, why not. Anyway, we've got the old shot Town game coming up next. I think it's the last um, fixture, isn't it? No, we've got two more. So I'll see you guys then for the um, old shot game. So here we are, Aldershot. Now, in between, um, between the last game, we have two new sign. Well, actually, no. Yes, two new signings. Actually, no, just the one. Just the one. Um, which is Ivan D'Angelo, our um, backup replacement for Gittings for now, anyway. Uh, he's decent for a most school and all that, but he's also got potential to become next league, well, league, left winger. Which might not seem great when you look at it, but look at those. He's just set pieces, amazing. Got amazing set piece um, ability for this level. And he's also got some decent heading too, along with finishing. So he's more towards the inside forward, and we're going to be letting him develop as that as well. Inside forward. And also as well, we haven't been... We haven't set the thing for um, Tumwasi yet. So we need to have a look at the development training and he is a limited fullback unfortunately so he's not um, the usual complete wingback but I don't mind limited fullbacks it means it just means a bit more defensive really don't like really to push I don't mind I don't mind that one bit and we just need to head back to the submit team screen there we are so having a look for our team, we placed Mickey in the Cole spot. Cole had a very good first game, and that's exactly what we expected of him. So having a look, remove D'Angelo up onto S4. But apart from that, I think that's it in terms of. Um, Things. You need to have a look at when um, Kevin Devaney comes back. I think it's like oh, still three to four weeks. So I can't get rid of Dance to the end of the season. Damn. That means I might have to get rid of him for nothing. Ugh. Well, either way, we're pushing on. I'm going to play Ivan Delenzo in on the bench. Give him the number 15 shirt. And 
we are going to get started. We still got some, well, in terms of signings now, I think I'm not going to bring in anyone else into the club. It's just going to be getting rid of the rest of the fringe players that I've had at the start of the game, which are currently in my reserves, out on loan, actually, most of them are, apart from a couple here and there. But, apart from that, I'm going to give the usual close down and week, well, tight mark and weak foot. Week of foot. We don't really want to be giving anyone too much trouble now, do we? I challenge the team to pick up where they left off. Yes. Something you can do to keep the run going. Uh, since it's away, we need to give a nice little UF Faith talk. Because why not? The UF Faith talk is just everything. Because it makes people happy. So then, kicking off here at Aldershot. And looks like we're going to have an instant highlight here. We've got Johnson still keeping on the pitch, and, and it's been blocked out by Ulster. Got Dimitri, pass it to Jackman, to Forbes. Back out to Vaughan on the wing. Oh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it was meant for Johnson, but Johnson completely ignored it. Look at that two possession. That's going to go up quickly. And the first two shots go to Aldershot, which we're expecting. Our away form is iffy as of late. It's just our home form is completely deadly. And we're yet to have a shot yet in the first 20 minutes of the game. There we go. Got Oster with the throw in. And it's trickled in from Thompson. Bit of poor defence there, bit of poor defence work. Yeah, I'm gonna go to counter really. I'm gonna I'm gonna go counter. See what would happen. We've had three corners, but not really much going. Got Danny Lewis kicking it. A uh, bit of a poor kick there, and he's run all the way back to goal. Oh, and that's a free kick. He's been tripped up. That's a yellow card. Yep, yellow card for Nazala again. Speaking of, I need to put Gowling back on the pitch. <laughs> At some point. And Patterson tries to go for a shot. And it was a clear cut chance. And Lewis saves. Good save there by the goalkeeper. Showing he's proving his worth. Saving these clear cut chances. There's always good things. Still not really much happening though. But it's only 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil down. And it's not good enough. We need to get more. Uh, no, don't need to bring anyone on right now. And an older shot kick off, and Patterson to roll to Rollins, and looks like he was going to get tackled there. Tackles one. We have gotten every single tackle. We're getting with a free kick here, and Melbourne to Chapman. It's a scruffle in the box. Who's going to get to it? Forbes, and it's got. And it's a save by Morris. Got a corner here. Gittings will take this. And it's been hit back out by Vaughan. And he's going to hit it back over to... Um, hmm. Got Dimitri with a throw in. Throws it back to Lewis. That's a bit weird. Uh, Forbes finds... Uh, can't get to Smith there. we got Thompson on the ball. Watch it, Nazala. We don't want to get another sending off. Got Thompson locked out by Forbes. Can he keep it from going out for a corner? It gets cleared out. And it goes to Barker, to Oleke, to Thompson. Oh, it looks like Nazala's off here. <laughs> and he's off. <laughs> it's in dangerous position too. Oh, come on. Another red card. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, we need to take off Hamilton Fords anyway. But we're going to be bringing Gash all the way. Actually, no, no, no. We're going to save Marwan up for the next game. We're going to save Marwan up for the next game, so we're going to bring him all the way back. Wondering why, and I'm bringing up Josh Gowling. And that's because I can save my o my uh, Ambulo sub for later. And now we can keep the Gowling. Keep Gowling's. Faith thing, you get out there and make a difference. 
And same for Mr. Burn. Yes. Really need to push, and that's exactly what we need to do. But we need to go on really on go on a counter, really. Let's just hope they didn't get anything from this free kick, but it looks like he's going to play it anyway. Ah, uh, nope. Looks like they didn't get anything. Oh, no, they're going to play it. And it's gone in. Even though it's gone straight through the net. Hey, it's gone in through the net here! <laughs> Come on! It's gone through the net. It didn't go in. <laughs> yeah, we really need to be careful now. We've got Dinkley with the... The free kick didn't go anywhere. Uh, should have been playing short. And got Thompson here. He's going to go around two. It's Mosley. Well, Mosley. Trying to look for a cross. It's Patterson. And he heads it in. Heads it home. Yep. Can we salvage anything? Probably not. It's another ass whooping. <laughs> Away from home. It always means a sending off. Because we can't play. Away from home. It's not like it's not like real life where we're just losing one nil. It's just completely ass warped. Can't do anything. Oh, so with the header, Mickey to Gittings. Find Jackman. Jackman to Burn. To Gittings. To Gash. Mickey's on the ball here. Oh, and he completely shoots it wide. Oh. That was just a. Well, it wasn't really a. Um, Shot. It was more of a panic shot, and it completely and utterly went nowhere. Barker with a free kick. He plays it short. That's exactly why how we should have played it. And we got Stanley and Gallon's been left for chips there. We got Mackey on the ball and Lewis turns it behind. Smith with his corner, and he goes behind. It's another corner. Can we clear it somewhere other than backwards? Stanley with the corner. Gets cleared away by Gittins and it went out the proper way that time. And it looks like it's going to be consolidated for a 3-0 loss. I wonder what our home for away from home form is. It's Johnson and it gets saved. <sighs> our finishing away from home is abysmal. I don't know. I don't know how we are getting so bad away from home. I know it's a bit like real life, but seriously, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. Not even scoring. Not happy. Slamming the team exactly what, giving them exactly what they deserve. Uh, having a look at the teams, Barnet dropped points exactly how I predicted, and we didn't capitalise. Um, having a look at Lincoln, they also dropped points, but they gained one on us. Macclesfield won. Uh, having a look at Dartford, I think Dartford dropped points. Braintree drew with Lincoln. Dartford drew with Salisbury. So everybody drew, so they caught up with us by a point, but that still leaves us so much... Just like three points. It should be games we should be winning. And we're not. I mean, we can't even score away from home now. It's getting a bit pathetic. It's not as, uh, yeah, devastated. That's an exciting football. Uh, banned for um, one match. It was a second yellow. I think it's his first this season. It is, and um, we're just going to give him a warning. Give him a warning like we always do. And, uh, yeah, we can't really be playing Nazala now for the next game. So, Gowling will be playing in the usual position. Got Williams loan finishes at the end of the day. So, anyway, we're going to be fast-forwarding to the Macclesfield game which I think is at home, so at least we have some chance of coming away from it. It is. So I'll see you guys then for that. Well then, so we were here for the Macclesfield game now, weren't we? But of course it's been postponed. I think it's due to a waterlogged pitch. Give it a minute. Waterlogged. So now it's going to be played in the February month. So... 
since now that we got ourselves a new striker, I've decided to put Joe Lolly on loan, mainly because in this game, he isn't really the best player in the world. And the potential really isn't that great either. So, I'm going to put him on loan, because he's not really going to be playing much football, to be honest, for the rest of the season. Unless, like, things go ape, and everybody just gets injured. Plus, we also have Ryan Rowe coming back, which will, he will take priority, because his current ability is much better. And other things as well. We've also got Conor O'Dor coming back tomorrow as well, and he's going to be going in the S1 position. Yeah, and he's also getting better by the day. And also, another player that's getting better by the day as well... Whoops. Is, um, Danny Lewis. He's getting really good. Um, over the last three months, literally, before I got the... Pr just on the day that I got the, um, progress report for him, literally almost everything on the goalkeeping and mental was up. <laughs> and, yeah, things are getting pretty nice. He's 31 and his acceleration has gone up as well. <laughs> Usually you won't find that happening. But even if he's in goal, he ha he's hardly running anywhere. So, yeah. Also, having a look at the squad, everyone's come back off injuries as well. Apart from one, which is Kevin Devaney. He's out for 10 days to 3 weeks. Jeez. Um, but now, I think now's the time to put to bed. The last thing I'm going to do in this video is actually, it's now going to have time to offer James Dance to clubs. He's, he, he hasn't really done anything when he's on the pitch. I mean, if I go on to him, this, he's only provided seven assists to one goal in 23 games. A lot of people have done more. Uh, he's only got three player of the matches, and his average rating is less than average. So, yeah. And plus his ability is, like, nothing. So, yeah. We're offering to clubs for 5k. Let's see if I get that. Actually, no, no, we're not. We're going to offer him to clubs for 3.5. See if we actually get that. They may not try and go for him, because we're quite near to the um, end of the um, transfer window. So they might want to try and get him down for nothing. Oh, <laughs> he's out for rent to 10 days. Our newest signing, Robust Challenge. Bruised head. <sighs> Great. That means Blissett's going to be taking priority in the substitutes. At least, though, we still have Blissett for now. I was hoping to get another striker to give challenge to Molgs, but... Oh, well, what can I do? What can I do? Well, we've got Rowie coming back anyway to challenge him anyway. Somewhat challenging. Doesn't mean he will, but you know. No offers for two players. <sighs> Not from for even less then. 2k. Because I do want to get some money back for him. Because he's, he's got a few years left. He's got a few years left on his... On his, um... Well, as a footballer. And, uh... I don't really want to be doing too much. And if it's not needed, I might as well just give him a bit of training. Now, I've already gone doing something, so, you know. Develop his weaker foot, why not? Role to play at the club? No. We've already got someone who's potentially better than him. You now, Carl Story keeps getting himself sent off. Speaking of which, we are now in um, January, so I'm going to have a look at the board, see if, see if I can actually request some things again. Yes, I can. That's very nice. Um, parent club. Yes. Uh, finances, no. Uh, youth level. We need to get that up. Yes, we're going to get it as well. That means we'll get better regens as well. Which means we could potentially get some money from it. Money return. As long as we are producing good, we can also produce um, some decent players as well without having me to go into the transfer market that much. 
as well for fringe players. So that is also very nice. In terms of anything else. Relay the pitch. We cannot fund it. Okay. We'll do it at the end of the season. So, having a look. Search for parent clubs, and we are now at level 4. Yeah, level 4 setup. I think we were level 3, but now we're level 4. So, we're, we've got a better chance of getting better players. So, having a look at our finances. Let's see how that affects our finances, to be fair. Because I think it's going to cost quite a bit. Yeah, it only changes it by about. It hasn't, it hasn't really changed it by too much, though, to be honest. We are a bit down on our wage budget. We need to fix that. Yeah, Lincoln played they played a game, and they won it. So, yeah, they've caught us, they caught up to us on points. However, we do have a game in hand on them, I think. Thanks to the Macclesfield game. Fortunately, I don't think we're... Actually, no, we're playing Lincoln some point in the near future, so we will... Which is a way. Great. It's a game. It's a must-win game, and it's a way. Um, we've also got Cambridge coming up as well. And Cambridge are got quite a decent team, but they've been... Iffy. I think it's because they've been... I think they didn't really delve into the low market as they do in real life, and that's probably what... Costs them. Anyway, I don't need to. Hmm, Vaughan's just been hit by a virus. Which means our fullback could potentially get some couple of games in. Unless that is, um. Oh, wow. No offers. Are we. Is this game suit? Fine then. One thousand pounds for my player. He is worth it. He is worth the one thousand pound. Focus on attacking movement. Why not? It's a w actually no. It's a way. So I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna decide against that and go defense positioning, mainly because it 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 we're away. <laughs> we're just away, and this is in. Yeah, <laughs> we're away, so why not? So, having a look at the transfer center. Yeah, Ryan's coming back, and yeah, that's got denied. But they're probably going to come back with over the better offer at some point. Probably at the end of the transfer window. Come on. Man, I just want to get rid of dance. I mean, seriously. <sighs> we've got a, we've got Johnson in for a while. Oh, wow, no offers. Oh, so Why doesn't anybody want him? Why doesn't anybody want him? He's got decent crossing. He's got he's got okay physical stats. He's expecting to leave the club, so you know. So. Fine then. Five hundred moon. God, this is got this is becoming an auction. I mean, like starting off high, and then no one bidding on it, and now he's going low. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to freaking sell him for a pack for freaking payment package. You know, a decent amount of wages as well, which will put me back in the green for that. I reckon someone might go for him at the end of the tra on the transfer deadline day. Just like someone from like BSN or B uh, BSN from the Skrill South or Skrill North. It's gonna come with no offers. <laughs> it's gonna uh, right. F fine, we're gonna go lowest at the low, mainly because uh, I can't wait. I need to get him. I need to get rid of him now, to be honest, because I need to secure our finances. And right now. Things just yeah, just 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 yeah. 
Need to get rid of him now. Average rating sucks. He's been doing somewhat decently in assists. Please. <sighs> Marcus has just come off a win, so that could be proving troublesome. Mm. Friendlies. Friendlies going on, I think it might be Scotland. 4-0, Braintree. So they've caught up. Um, like I said, tr come into the playoffs. No active transfer negotiations at this time. Please, someone just go for him. I'm sending him for nothing. I'm sending him for nothing. Come on, let me browse. It's loading every single match being played. But anyway, I think I might as well just leave this off here, because all it is is going to be me trying to sell dance. So I'll see you guys next time for when we get to the Gateshead game, which will be in February.